These fresh faces are Buick's handsome new Regal Sportback and Tour X models. Yep, I know what you're thinking. The sedan, it's dead as fried chicken. But given America's slumping four-door sales, I don't think anybody's gonna mind. Besides, these new Regals aren't just attractive, their new shapes mean that they'll be inherently more useful too. Today, most people think of the Regal as a sedan, but in its heyday, it was better known as a coupe. And those with really long memories may recall that Buick once offered a Regal wagon. I remember that early 80s basket of deplorables well. My best friend's mom drove one when I was a kid, and I think I still have got burn marks on the back of my legs from the vinyl seats. Kids today, they have it so easy. Not only is there a roomier, less burny back seat, there's standard 4G LTE Wi-Fi to keep Junior's iPad streaming. Mom and dad, they shouldn't be bored up front either. They'll have 250 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque at their disposal, as well as standard all-wheel drive. And there's more space in the back of this thing for everyone's gear than in any conceivable rival. There's over 73 cubic feet with the seats down. I'm happy to report that the interior is a big step up over the old model's button-heavy cabin. There's a standard 7-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and an optional 8-inch unit with navigation. Buick's IntelliLink systems have been really strong lately, so hopefully these are as snappy and well laid out. I've always been a big fan of Fastback 5 doors, like this Regal Sportback, so I'm particularly glad to see this body style offered in America. This one offers over 60 cubic feet of cargo space with the second row stowed, and it's got similar standard equipment levels to the Tour X, including a boatload of available advanced driver assist technologies. The Sportback sits slightly lower than the Tour X, and unlike that wagon, this car comes standard with front wheel drive. You'll get a nine speed automatic instead of an eight, but you'll also have 35 fewer pound feet of torque. Me, I think I'd opt for the all wheel drive. Like the outgoing Regal, both of these cars are actually thinly reworked Opel Insignias from GM of Europe. That's a good thing because that suggests they should have solid driving dynamics. We'll have to wait until closer to their fall on sale dates to find out for sure, but right now, standing here at GM's Warren Michigan Design Dome, these two look really promising.